Mum, seven years ago you moved out of our childhood home. Shortly after, you told me you were feeding stray cats. It seemed normal until you told me the cats lived in front of our old house. I'm worried about you. How long have you been feeding these kids for? A long time. How long? Too long. I'm not going to say too long. Why? Because <laughs> it's embarrassing. Why is this so important to you? Shush. <laughs> it's funny because I brought up 10 children for many, many years. I've got that sticking power. I can handle it. It's not half as rough as bringing all you kids up. You've got to be regular. You've got to be constant. Otherwise, they'll starve. Yeah, and I notice when you drive in, mm -hmm. they're like all running towards I you. Know. <laughs> they do. Well, they scare Fluff, so I have to give them nibbles. Otherwise, she won't be able to eat her food because they attack her. When did you buy that house? 87, when you were born. When I look at the house, I don't feel like it's ours anymore. Yeah. But I also hold on to the memories yeah. there. Yeah, happy memories. Any memories, even sad ones. Yeah, yeah. It's like... But I was happy there. Even though there was... Your brother died, I was happy there. So how many cats do you um, have? Like, I know you have two there. I feed there, that, and so I don't, don't get put down because um, that's what will happen because they're not being brought up indoors. Oh, I might get a bit emotional. Why? When I left, I had um, the SPCA caught them in traps and I thought that they'd try and rehome them and found out that they put them down, except for Fluff and Ginge. But I'm going to try and um, rehome Fluff. I have to catch up, saved up money for the vet. You know, you could have asked me for money. No, it's all right. You just put aside money every week. Just put it by the ginger cat there, so they won't get that other cat. Well, I know something really weird. What? You know, when Diana's funeral, if I watch it. Who's Diana? Lady. Princess Diana. Oh, yeah. Whenever I run footage of her, I just bawl my eyes out. It's not even about her. It brings up something back then. I think I had unresolved grief over your brother, and when she died that year, it just spilled up, you know, during that time. Even today, I can... It'll just happen. I was crying today. Oh, were you? What about? About you. Oh. What about me? I'm good. Last night you were saying that. What? You're like talking about fluff and. Oh, no. You well, feel sad. Yeah, well, that's because I've been putting everybody who's quite capable first, do you know what I mean? Instead of her. Or maybe I can help you catch her. Oh. We can take her home. I'll be fine. No, I'm going to help you catch fluff. No, you can't because she don't like you. Can we just get off the subject? We're Have you been to any good movies lately? Yeah, the movie was called uh, Thumb That Helps His Mum Catch a Cat. <laughs> <laughs> so am I going to wear the gloves or do you wear the gloves? No, I have to catch the cat. Yeah, yeah. Be quick because she might scratch you up. You said that you listened to um, that CD I got you from China and that your cat likes it. Yeah, baby does. How do you know? Because she just stops and her ears shoot up and she just stares and... Do you want to listen to it? Yeah, yes. Okay, I'll put it on. Should say, read. Oh, Todd. I can help you. You don't push play. That's it. See what she does. 
<laughs> Baby, here's your music. <laughs> you like that? I put it on and she just loves it. See, I told you. You walk in. No. Going in, yeah. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh, there you go. Mum. Mum. Mum, what are you doing? She was right there where the plate is. Yeah, but I can't reach over. You could have petted her. Do you not want my help? No, I said to you, I can do it by myself. So why is this such a big deal to you? I think you're trying to sabotage. No. I wanted to help you do something that well, you've wanted to do for a long time. You're getting upset because I didn't do it the way you wanted, that's all. If you don't want my help, yeah. just tell me and I will go. Just don't feel bad. It's not the end of the world, son, okay? You all right? Don't touch me. That was a bit mean, by the way. Pushing it away. I thought you were going to be silent. No, I just was motioning for you to have a biscuit and you were like... Mums are allowed to be weird sometimes. Meow. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm still your baby, though. Yeah, and slow down, turn your light off, and go up a bit noisier. Just hoof the accelerator a bit. Yeah, I think that's the end of that. I can see her. Oh. Oh, good. Come on. Come on. Fluff. Here. Because your cat got calmed by the song. Can try and see if it works with fluff. Is it too loud? No, I think she's just gone. Just not going to come out. Sorry we couldn't catch Fluff. I want to keep trying. But I can't force you to move on. I miss Mitchell too.